Tung. So this is it, straight from Germany. Wow, look at that. Look at that, the color. Really nice. There's still some plastic bits covering headstock, tuners, and the neck, as well as the edges. Wow, super like it. Can't believe it. It's so tiny though like it's not three quarters like one half so small okay guys so i put the strap already this is my Licato uh, woven um, vintage strap and good thing about this strap is uh, the plectrum uh, holder so i don't need to buy a plectrum holder for now to put in here and if you want to take a closer look of the guitar that's the logo and this was hanging uh, earlier on the tuners and it says made in USA J&D by Jack and Danny Brothers so yeah that's the one and then back as well the plate got the logo there um, engraved even though this is a small uh, guitar short scale guitar I think it was built nicely the, my DIY kit that's why I had to cut the cover because the holes here versus the um, where the strings are being put is not in line this one is perfectly in line so that's really good good news um, everything even the edges here it's really nice and the fretboard it's really really nice I mean for a 75 pounds guitar um, you wouldn't expect that they would put a attention to detail even the uh, nut there's no sharp edges uh, the DIY kit the, the plastic here it's like you need to throw it away there's even gap but this one is so done nicely all right uh, I did tune it already and then we're gonna remove this covering here for the pickup that's the one so I'm going to take that off there's also plastic for the pick guard so I'll remove that um, and it's a three-way switch so I'm still new to it but what I like is the humbucker and the single coil neck uh, I always wanted to have this kind of settings it looks like as well that uh, it was intonated it's not like a straight line on the bridge and the saddle itself it's really nice uh, my DIY kit I changed it with my stainless steel uh, saddle uh, bridge saddle because it's so cheap this one doesn't look or feel cheap so yeah and we are going to put the tremolo bar it came with the tremolo bar as well as the uh, allen screw this is for the truss rod this one's for the bridge for intonation so yeah this is quite 
a bargain. We will do that sound check later. There it is, tremolo bar. Feels like the the spring is quite hard, so I might uh, loosen it a bit. Maybe it, I don't know if there's three springs or what, but looks hard at the moment. But let's see. Uh, once this is uh, set up, I might check the intonation as well. Although by looking at it, it seems like it was set up. The string height or the action, uh, it doesn't matter for now. I like it high, so I think this is about how you, how I would like it. But yeah, uh, I might change the strings as well. And probably the machine heads, I might put my uh, Vanson locking tuners. Let's see. Uh, once I manage to plug this in so let's do that so here it is guys uh, I plugged it in I've tuned it uh, using the zoom g1x on tuner I'm plugged in using my Licato uh, wireless uh, guitar system and yeah that's the neck pickup tone all the way up tone all the way down then both pickups bridge Yeah, it's a little bit dynamic as well with the uh, volume control knob. Right, let's do a clean tone. Uh, the strings, I think, is still adjusting. It's probably the temperature or... Or it's just a cheap strings that was put in. It's really nice. Feels like a toy. It's so small, but I I sort of like it. Now, the the main purpose why I bought this one is to get this stretch for me. <laughs> because the frets are um frets are closer to each other. Um I'm sliding it off. Yeah. What about here? This one I think needs a bit of intonating. But anyway, I like it. This one's a bit bluesy, the Nashville. Let's see. And this one's the acoustic sim.
I like it. It's like I'm overbending it. Right, let's do a bit of other tones that I got in here. Uh huh. I think the tendency when it's a small scale is to overbend it so ah, there's another one that I really need to check the this one uh, when it comes to the solo because pick up the humbucker is aggressive <laughs> That's the one that I wanted to avoid. Mm. Yeah, uh, it doesn't happen with my Wilkinson pickup, but on the humbucker. Okay. Right oh. It's still there. It's still there. Oh, that's the tricky bit for this.
So much for that. I love it. Uh, I think I just need to adjust on how to handle this guitar because I overbend most of the time. It's just trying to figure out um, the feel of this guitar, where I am with the guitar. But so far so good. The headstock is okay as well. Um, it doesn't have a neck dive. So what more can I ask? Um, the tuners i think uh it needs to have a, a really good tuner because when you tune it uh, sometimes it jumps um but the bridge is fine um i don't know if the tremolo needs uh, adjusting or it's me it, i feel that it's a little bit hard to uh, press but um having said that maybe it's designed to be that way uh, i'm not sure and the strings, I might change the strings in the near future, but for now I can just uh, make use of it, worn it out, and then yeah, uh, just um, keep in touch guys, and we'll see where this one leads. It might be a project guitar, um, don't know if I need to change the pickup, uh, so far there's a character to the pickup which I like. Um, yeah yeah let's see where this heading maybe I, I just need to keep using it and then um in the future we'll upgrade it change the pickups and uh, as i said the tuners and for now looks like the tuners um is the main concern and probably changing the strings thank you so much for watching guys and this is uh, j and d mini strat really good hs configuration so humbucker single coil um so far so good see you again soon bye for now ciao <laughs>